you. So that means if we are busy doing good deeds and da'wah and enjoying what's good, forbidding what's bad, removing evil, by Allah, by default, you will be rewarded. But by people, sometimes you are punished. And that's what happened to Ibrahim alayhi salam. By his dad, rejection and ejection. Dad rejected the invitation and dad teamed up with the community to build a big fire and to eject Ibrahim alayhi salam right in the middle of the fire. It was so huge, so powerful, so vicious, vicious fire. Nobody could come close to the fire and throw Ibrahim alayhi salam in the fire. They have to eject him from a distance. Check your life. How many times you get ejected and Allah saved you? Check our life, you will find that Allah also subhanahu wa ta'ala saved us from so many terrible situations. Ibrahim alayhi salam ejected in the midst of the fire. Somebody you love going all the way in the midst of the fire. You pray that they fall before the fire. You pray that they fall after the fire. But you could never expect they fall in the midst of the fire and it becomes burden wa salama. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered the fire to be cool and peaceful. If it was only cool, it would have killed him. Cool and peaceful. This is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the unimaginable would happen. With Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, there's nothing impossible. And if we check our life, my dear brothers and sisters, and rebel believers, check your life. You will find that one day in your life, you were in a difficult situation, in a fiery situation, and Allah delivered you out cool and peaceful. And if it does not happen to you, it will happen sooner than later. So Ibrahim alayhi salam ejected into the fire and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered the fire to be burden wa salama. Cool and peaceful and relieved and saved Ibrahim alayhi salam who was inviting his dad to the Jannah, inviting his dad to the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The most of Ibrahim alayhi salam, it is the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Let's fast forward. Fast forward, Ibrahim alayhi salam, now an old man. And when your dad or mom old, they really need your help. Doesn't matter how much of a dignity they have, how much of wealth, how much of strength, how much of education they have, they need your help. Don't let them ask for it. Don't let them beg for it. So Ibrahim alayhi salam, at an age where he's old, senior citizen plus, and at that time, he need his son. His son is grown up. But what happened? He saw. Watch what he said to his son. قَالَ يَا بُنَيَّ إِنِّي أَرَى فِي الْمَنَامِ أَنِّي أَذْبَحُكَ He said, oh my beloved son, when you hear your dad telling you, Habibi ibni, my beloved son, you'll expect your dad will tell you good news. You'll expect your mom will reward you. He is telling his son, oh my beloved son, Inni ara, inni ara, the true meaning for inni ara means I keep seeing, not just I saw or I see, I keep seeing in the dream, in the vision that I'm slaughtering you. What did the son do? Nowadays, some of the children, may Allah guide them, never criticize, I mean, never crucify your children, never curse them, never make dua against them. Keep making dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Keep Raising your ten fingers, there's one finger and pointing the finger at them and criticize them and crucify them. Raise ten fingers and pray for them. Nowadays, some of our children, you ask them for a cup of water, they will call 911. You ask them for a cup of water, they say, I'm busy, I'm doing my homework, I'm tired. So watch what Ibrahim said to his son. I keep seeing in the dream, in the vision, that I'm slaughtering you. What did the son say? Look, this family, a role model, the whole family. Ibrahim alayhi salam, he was imam. Inni ja'iluka nasi imama. He was the imam of all mankind, of all humanity. They are a role model. Ismail alayhi salam, he said to his dad, Qala ya abati, if'al ma tu'mar, satajidni insha Allah min as -sabirin. Look what happened. The son said to his dad, Oh, my beloved dad. The dad is saying, my beloved son. And the son is answering back. How many of us big winners like Ismail alayhi salam? Wallahi, when you deal with your mom and dad with utmost respect, 
When you deal with your mom and dad with utmost love and care, you are a big winner. So here Ismail alayhi salam is saying, Oh my beloved dad, if'al, if'al ala wazin, ithbah. If'al, do what you are commanded to do, satajidini insha'Allah min as sabirin And if you look at the word satajidini, and look at the verse in Yusuf alayhi salam, inni la ajidu riha Yusuf. When Ya'qub alayhi salam said, I find the scent of Yusuf is not by the nose. It overwhelmed him physically, spiritually, emotionally, psychologically, it overwhelmed him. And here, Ismail alayhi salam is telling his dad that I will be physically, emotionally, spiritually, psychologically among the patients with the help of Allah. So anytime you are in a situation, remember that ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be among the patients physically, emotionally, spiritually, psychologically with the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is not enough sometimes for us physically to be patient or spiritually to be patient. We need to have that combo. So the son is telling his dad, do what you are commanded to do. My dear brothers and sisters, this is a role model, this family. Look what happened. The shaitan is present. Don't think the shaitan did not exist. No, the shaitan is present. So the shaitan goes to Ismail alayhi salam to discourage him. How come? To slaughter you. What Ismail did alayhi salam? When you go to Hajj, you take seven pivots, seven jamarat, and you cast where the shaitan appears. So Ismail alayhi salam took seven pivots and casted the shaitan. The shaitan doesn't give up. He goes to the mother and look at home. If the shaitan, Iblis, wants a trouble with you and your wife, he will try it with you. It doesn't work. He'll go to your son. It doesn't work. He'll go to your wife. It doesn't work. He'll go to your neighbor. He will have so many maneuvers. So the shaitan went to the mother. How come? This is your only son to slaughter him. She took the seven pivots and casted him. Casted him. No. And that's rejection to the invitation of the shaitan. Now the shaitan did not give up. And remember, the shaitan doesn't give up. As long as you have a heart beating you, it doesn't give up. So he went to Ibrahim alayhi salam. This is your only son. You are an old man. You need him. Insane. So he took seven pivots, seven jamarat, and he casted the shaitan. He casted Iblis. And here we go. When we go to the hajj, when you take a rock, a small pivot, and you cast where the shaitan appeared, you are not hitting a rock with a rock. It has no meaning. But you are rejecting the invitation of the shaitan. You take the pivots and you say no to the shaitan. No to the invitation of the shaitan. No to associating someone with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No to the shaitan. So that was the meaning of casting the shaitan. My dear brothers and sisters, the greatest concern of Ibrahim alayhi salam it is the monotheism, the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Same thing Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to go among the non-Muslim, among what's so called the kuffar, and he used to tell them, قُولُوا لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ تُفْلِحُوا Say there is no God, there is no deity worthy to be worshipped, but Allah, you will achieve success. After the break, we will see how a shafi'i dealt with his mom. Today's khutbah, how Ibrahim alayhi salam dealt with his dad, how Ibrahim alayhi salam dealt with the son, how the son dealt with the father. A mustami'un, rubba mustami'un, khayrun mumatakallim. It might be a listener better than a speaker. And we extract benefits to engrave in our heart, to engrave in our behavior. Aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah al-azim. Fastaghfiru innahu nawa s-sama'at Allah ghafur rahim. الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وآله وصحبه أجمعين وجزا الله محمد العنا بما هو آل فريج بيت الله سبحانه وتعالى بيس أن بلس بيا بالعفاف محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وذي سفامي لهيس كومبانيا مي الله سبحانه وتعالى ريورد أول